This video will briefly show how to install Syncplify Me Server version 5 onto a fresh operating system. After reading and accepting the license, the first phase of the installation is basically automatic. Just wait a few seconds for the setup program to copy all the necessary files to your operating system. Once this portion of the installation is complete, the software will automatically launch a program to guide you through the next phase of the initial configuration. During this second phase, a green progress bar and some optional informational messages will appear as the software installs the necessary system services. Now it's time for your first choice, is this going to be a standalone SFTP server or is it going to be part of a high availability deployment? For now let us show how to install a standalone server. It is very important to choose a strong super admin password. Super Admin is a special user that can manage every aspect of your SFTP server. Now you're given the option to restore your server configuration from an old backup, but in this walkthrough we will just proceed with a normal fresh installation. Once this phase is complete you can click on the provided link to move on to the next phase. Your browser will open and it will probably show a security exception because for now you are still using a self-signed certificate. Accept the exception and log in using the super admin password you just set a moment ago. In the new super admin dashboard you now have the option to install your own valid SSL certificate if you want to. But for now let's go back to the dashboard and create our first virtual SFTP site. A simple wizard will guide you through the process by asking simple questions, like the SFTP site name, the administrator username and password for this specific site, its intended use, and the bindings. Please select every option carefully, as this will affect how your SFTP site will behave. One of the most important new features in version 5 is IPv6 support, you can add your own IPv4 and IPv6 bindings, and don't worry if you make a mistake, the software will detect it and let you know there is a conflict. Once all of your settings are defined and populated, the software now has enough information to create your first virtual SFTP site. The newly created SFTP site will initially show as down status because it's still starting. Give it a few seconds and its status will become up and running.